Hello, I'm Kirsten Mello, Editor-in-Chief of In Focus, Williamson County Schools e-newsletter. You know, there are so many great things happening in our schools each and every day. So for the next few minutes, we're going to take you inside Williamson County Schools and show you some of the incredible things our students, teachers, and staff are doing on a daily basis. We'll kick it off with our WCS Week in Review. It has been a wonderful morning already. We're as excited as they are. With your spirit burning, take a risk and take a chance. Carry on. Long live the soul set free. Don't be afraid to dream. While the world's still turning. Oh, For a new school year. I am, I am. Perfect. Great. Great. And so we're we're going to have this milk challenge to help us feed the cows. That's exactly right. Awesome. And we're going to also call on the community, everyone, not just people who come to our schools, not that just the little ones. Everyone in the community can help us feed our cows.
what's going on here today at Centennial High School is we're in our second day of new teacher induction. We welcomed 300 new teachers yesterday here. They spent all day and now they're in their second day of learning about the culture here in Williamson County Schools, learning about what we value, and learning about instruction and planning and assessment. Learn a lot about how to be a good teacher. A lot of information. I'm receiving a lot of support from the school district, lots of professional development. Um, just had a wonderful lunch and about to go back and learn more about RTI in Williamson County Schools. And um, then I'm going to go back to see Cass Harrington and I'm going to learn more about assessment and instruction. It, there's so much energy here with this group of new teachers. They're all eager to join our team. It, it, it's an interesting group of people. There's probably half of them coming to us with experience in other schools or districts and, and almost half of them coming new to the profession. Well, I grew up in Williamson County, so I'm a product of Williamson County School Education and I just think it's the best. Um, they're the most caring, rigorous uh, teachers out there and I just think um, it's an honor to be a part of the team. My wife and I moved down here from Illinois and I continuously heard from very different resources that Williamson County is a place to be. So I applied and applied and applied and got lucky and got a great job at Heritage Middle School. I think what really excites me are the people here. Um, from everyone, from the top down, so from Dr. Looney all the way down. I'm really excited though to meet the kids. That's why I'm here. So, um, and I've heard great things about the students at my school, so I can't wait to meet them on Friday. <laughs>
The students are arriving from different countries. They come from uh, different backgrounds of what schooling is like in their, own, in their home countries. And as familiar as they are with the school procedures there, they're uh, quite different here. So the purpose that we're trying to do for these, these three days is to get students familiar with what it's like to be in a U.S. school, specifically in a Williamson County School District, and then more specifically within their own actual school. And uh, so today they got to ride the school bus to go to their school and take a little walk around there and learn a bit about their building. We were seeing the whole school because we are new here. I'm new. Well, as an introduction to Kenrose, we took them around the building. We showed them the cafeteria and the library and the art room and the music room and then the different hallways where their classrooms might be. The parents were here and we had a parent orientation and question and answer session. And I just chose different parts uh, from the county website, uh, focusing mainly on the section called Parents and Students and going through the list of quick links that are on there for parents so that they would be familiar with things that are going to come up more often at the beginning of the school year. We just want them to feel comfortable in their building to be able to know where some of the important places are that they're going to be going during their regular school day and to be able to have a place that maybe they could get to if they got lost they might know how to get to the office or to the ESL room to be able to get help. I enjoy driving the bus. Um, it's a big responsibility, obviously, driving a huge piece of equipment on the streets these days. Um, but I, I enjoy that side of it. But, but most especially, I enjoy interacting with the kids, almost more especially the, the parents, really, and, and, and the acknowledgement you get from the parents when, when you drop in their child off at the appropriate stop at pretty much the same time each day, and, and they're just happy to get their child home that that day and, and, and they've entrusted you with their child and, and, and it's rewarding to know that you've done that every day safely. I enjoy the morning runs especially. It gives me that opportunity to get out the house. The people that we work with and interact with here in the office on a daily basis are just great. I just enjoy it. I'm Kelsey Ballerini, Centennial High School class of 2011. I haven't been back here since I graduated in 2011, so um, it's really cool. I have so many awesome memories here, and uh, it's good to be back. I started writing songs when I was 12, living in Knoxville. And um, as soon as I wrote my first song, something just kind of switched in my head, and I was like, this is what I'm going to do with my life. And so I moved to Nashville when I was 15, um, halfway through high school, came here. And um, this is really like my two years at Centennial. That's really where I started kind of hitting the ground running with music. You can choose if you're bad, if you're good, if you're left or right, in your heart. I think I was really focused while I was in high school here on growing as an artist, as a person, just growing up a little bit. And um, I think that the people that I met here and the friends that I made, um, and just kind of the life that I experienced while I was here, really helped me create the songs and become the artist that, you know, that I kind of am right now. There were several teachers here that I really connected with, um, but Miss Beasley was like my girl. Um, and I remember even like when I didn't have her class, I would always like during my lunch break go see her. And I worked in the counseling office as well, and so Susan Drace was here, and um, I really loved her and connected with her a lot. I think, you know, I was a fan for so long of artists and like the true blue, like wait in line to meet them. Fan. And um, I think it's so cool to be on this side of it now because I know what it's like to be on the other side and so I know like how that connection is and so for me I think my favorite part right now is 
doing live shows and getting to sit with girls afterwards and just kind of hear how like my music has affected them because I've been on that side of it for so long. Everybody got a dream. I would say my advice would be um, if you know what you like to do and you know what you're good at, um, do it. And don't let age ever be a defining thing for you. I think for a long time people were like, you're so young, you have time. And I was like, I don't want time. Like, I want to start it. You know what I mean? And I think um, just being strong in who you are and yourself and, and knowing what you want to do and just going after it, um, I think that's worth a lot. I hope you enjoyed this brief look at Williamson County Schools. I'm Kirsten Mello, reminding you to stay involved, stay informed, stay in focus.